Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Lost Judgment. Last video, we had our interview slash interrogation with Ahara, where we forced him to admit that he murdered Hiro Mikashiba and agreed to the appeal. This video, we get some surprising news about Kuwana, and we have to run to try to save him. Let's jump in. Now we're back at Genda Law. Go. I'm going to fill Genda Sensei in on what happened. Why don't you head over to the office? Aren't we right here? Sure thing. I get to decide. I get to decide if I want to go in or not. So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda Sensei? Uh, Genda Sensei? You gonna tell us something? The sexual battery and Mikashiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, you'll need to prove he murdered Mikashiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Yeah, we do. Ahara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ahara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Of course. Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ahara won't admit to murdering Mikashiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So, what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? Yeah, I mean, come on. You gotta do it, though. To it's the right thing. With you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. Oh, confidence. What? Sorry, son. Are you actually mad? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. I would be too. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kuwana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. It's a good point. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as Ahara's defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm. What about you, Yagami? I want to hear your thoughts. Oh? He disagrees. How should I move this forward? Uh, Genda, I defer to... No, it's between Sayori and Genda. Man, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Sayori. Sayori-san. We should listen to Sayori-san. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did. But I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? Yes. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sarisan's. Hmm. What do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. Okay. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kawana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kuwana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw out Kuwana, then RK and the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much, which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried, even if it means murder. Sawa deserves revenge. I need to revenge. figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. Yep. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. 
Kenda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. Mm, that should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. Boom! And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. Got the blessing from Genda. We know what we're doing. And we got Sukumo on the line. Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijincho. It's very bizarre. Interesting. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. Thanks, so RK still staking out Ijincho. Let's get back there and find out what's up. Yeah, let's go. Head to Yokohama. 99 Oh god Forgot where I was for a second The cab's down this way I thought it was bad I could keep up We could take another cab there, but it's it's pretty quick right here. Oh, we'd have been hit. We would have had our legs busted out from under us. Oh, you guys want some street punks? Oh, Is that a sword? down, but we now have the ability to perform an X attack. Run like that if look at Sugira getting those kicks. If we have enough of a meter field on our X key. So that's super exciting. Always a way to stay in the fight. Awkward looking fight. You come here. Well, weren't even close to him, but we still get this off. <laughs> and a kick to the face. That's still that's probably my favorite finisher. Really in guys? The game so far. So far. Yeah, let's go. So far. <laughs> what an idiot. This is where we fought uh, Matsun and them when we first started the game, when we first got here. Look at that. Oh, the memories. More bullies on this street. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kind of. Kuanasan, or rather Kitakata Sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuanasan? Yeah, RK doesn't make sense. You think in this. that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa Sensei got killed. The Leo monk didn't make Before sense they until Kawai explained it. But... RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? 
We can guess all we want, but that's not gonna get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in Arcade directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ejincho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't gonna be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. Yeah, we need to find out. That's true. How Arcade Sitting around thinks. here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going okay. right now. No. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? <laughs> A new message. What's this? From Amasawa, Housing Investigation. We're not doing, like, any of the side mission things. <laughs> the professor must be stopped. Yeah. Well, we're not going to be doing that, so we'll just uh, head on out. <laughs> Back to the streets. I bet this is going to be another one of those, we get around the corner, we get a call, we come back. Find some random street thugs to fight real quick. Maybe that'll be what... Oh my god! <laughs> Here's the call. Hello? It's Shirosaki. Oh, hey. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kawada approaching other bullying victims besides Ihara-san to offer revenge. Ihara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? I don't see how that feels Well, off. wasn't the first bully Kawana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kawana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge, too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's oh. parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? This lady. I don't know. So is she gonna be somebody that... No way. So we take care of Shinya Kawai. She was involved because she said yes, but now that she's in this position, she knows what Kawana would have done, but she doesn't go to the police. She uses RK. But may... Oh, that still maybe follows at the police. Yes. Who Maybe is the police are in. vice minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or was even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then... I don't know, man. There's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. There's that, With too. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered R.K. to silence Kawana? Which would explain how R.K.'s actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? So the police aren't involved and with you R.K. you think it's Reiko but Reiko is. You don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. See? We're going yeah, right back. This is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. That's amazing. All right, time to get back to Tsukubo. <laughs> we, we walked around the corner. <laughs> we didn't even get anywhere. Hey, boys. I have news. Yagami-san, back already? Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, was quick. Kinda. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Not when I get well, phone the day's not over away. yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? All right. Oh, now it's nighttime out. Figured you'd be gone till evening. Okay. Yeah. Take Steve a look at this, Yagamishi. So Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. 
The Ministry Revolution. Bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. <laughs> Go her. Vice Minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Yeah, and they're going Still, to kill Kawana. no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Interview Reiko herself? Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa Sensei's murderer. Really? And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment. Oh, that's Kuwana! The PD is conducting a search for the suspect. Self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. We straight told Why Watanabe. Are looking for Kuwana? Watanabe, it was Soma. Shouldn't they be after Soma? Uh, yeah! ...former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity oh for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawasan. Get out of here. Why aren't... yeah. Hmm. See? Maybe the police if are in. If Kawana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Had yeah, been. I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Yes, we'll have to ask them ourselves. That's because ask RK who? is in with the police. Detective they Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Come on, man. It's been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kawana killed Sawa Sensei? I take it you saw the news. Of course. Kawana was caught on camera near the crime scene. Plus, he knew the victim. And if that's not enough. He was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? That's not evidence he killed her, though. But I saw Soma holding an ice pickup to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere <laughs> else. Nice. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh-huh. I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your works out? <laughs> okay. Abisa? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagami she I managed to focus in on the background noise from there. your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. Get what? out of here. Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. <laughs> but is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Main Street of Chinatown. For real? <laughs> About to just go ambush him. That's amazing. Yeah, I think we should definitely cab it up. We'll go to the outskirts of that little circle there. So Chinatown, let's do the South Chinatown. This will put us. This should put us right at the edge, or just outside the red circle. Yeah, see, just outside. So, and down this way. I assume this is the main street. Oh, 
really don't know why I'm walking. I know when we get close enough, we're gonna get up. It's a little cutscene. <laughs> I was right. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... It's Sakurai. Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Yeah, I did. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after R.K.? Or are you, and you're just keeping me in the dark? This isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! Don't reach for me like that. I get that. the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the can. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Let's go then pee let's. together. Damn. What's he up to? You shut your mouth, sucker, right? Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. We'll do it with a pleasant view. He definitely knows something. Do the cops really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. We would have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. The police are in What's with RK. To me? <sighs> from the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups have been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when we were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hard up. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. Okay, so Watanabe is You're saying the whole still. force is in on a cover up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Seriously? Oh my god. The there is the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Oh my god. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? Yo, calm down. He's a cop. It's too. time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa Sensei's case. They're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kuwana has to die in an accident. What? What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle. I guess. Come on. Someone clearly wants Kuwana gone. And they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. I don't buy that. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice, and then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. To 
did you forget that you were talking to a detective? Oh, come on. I don't want to fight him. You never did answer uh. the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smartass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> you little piece of shit! I've had enough! You dead son of a bitch! I can't believe we're doing this. Look at you. Kisuke Watanabe. Or was it Kazuki? I don't remember how he said his name. Oh yeah, the X action from the knockdown. I love it. Ooh. Have his leg bent. What happened there? Jesus. Just want a power bomber through the bench. That would be hysterical. I think it's time you cool off. Have a trip. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. There we go. Anybody watch uh, Dragon Ball Super in my audience here? I sound like Jiren a little bit. Watanabe. In the English dub. Uh, kinda. <laughs> I think he does. That's just me. Now I have to look up what his name is and tell you guys in a subsequent video. If I'm right, or if I'm so far off that I'm stupid. Let's beat this guy first. Get these feet, Watanabe! Dodge moves. There it is. Oh, what a finish. Jesus. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kuwana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kawana dead. The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the big wigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come so from? So they knew. They knew it was going to happen. Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? So was Sawa killed under orders? 
that Soma would do it, but luring Kuwana there. But how would they know? How would they know? Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in our case criminal network in Kamrojo. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no one will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. That's ridiculous. Really speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma. He doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. No way! Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been, or maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. I wonder They're if they the ones all who have the prime suspect info in Sawa Sensei's case, too. It doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kuwana silenced, it'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kuwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. Jesus. So who's running the show in public security? Did they have a name? Your name, Watanabe. I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. <coughs> yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Eugene Show. Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Juan has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in a jean show. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Already got eyes on Fuku him? Toku Cho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawan is there? You're not gonna say you got that from me, right? <laughs> no, man, I'll keep I you out of this. Time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. And they mean business. I mean, thanks for the heads up. I hope we get to work with him before this is all over again. Alright guys, we're going to cut this video off right here. So we found out that there is... You know, a policing organization, I guess that's what public security is. But, uh, they're the ones that are throwing Kiwana under the bus for Sawa's case and ignoring the fact that Soma was the one that killed her and even have zero record of Soma being in the system. Um, so is Reiko Kuzumoto responsible for this? Like, does she have connections to public security? Is she the one pulling the strings? Or is she just one of the people that Kuwana approached. We're going to have to wait and find out because when we come back, we're going to be trying to get Kuwana out of the jam that he's currently in. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.